Net YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about JMN 2023. JMN 2023 will be conducted in two sessions in January and in April. And it will be conducted by National Testing Agency, NTA. In today's video, we will talk about JMN 2023 registration process step by step. What is the eligibility criteria? What is the state code of eligibility? What are the fees to be paid? The test pattern, marking scheme, everything in details. If you have any queries regarding JMN 2023, you can also contact us on the phone number right now shown on the screen. You can also put your query in the comment box or WhatsApp us your query. The Joint Entrance Examination JE Main comprises two papers. Paper 1 is conducted for admission to undergraduate engineering programs B or BTEC at NITs, IIITs and other centrally funded technical institutions CFTIs and institutions or universities funded or recognized by participating state governments. JE Mains is also an eligibility test for JE Advanced which is conducted for admission to IITs. Paper 2 is conducted for admission admission to B architecture and B planning courses in the country. The JMN 2023 will be conducted in two sessions. The Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Education, Government of India has entrusted the responsibility of conducting the Joint Entrance Examination JMN 2023 to NTA that is National Testing Agency. For academic session 2023-24, it has been decided that JMN 2023 will be conducted in two sessions that is session 1 which will be held in January 2023 and session 2 which will be held in April 2023. The details of the session 1 January 2023 I'll discuss right now. The online submission of application form for session 1 will start from 15th December 2022 and will continue till 12th January 2023 up to 9 pm. The last date of successful transaction of the fee payment through credit card, debit card, net banking or UPI will be 12th January 2023 up to 11.50 p.m. Within second week of January 2023, the announcement of the city of the examination will be done and third week of January 2023 onwards, you can download the admit cards for, from the NTA website. The date of examination for JMN 2023 session 1 is on 24 January 2023, 25th of January 2023, 27th of January 2023, 28th of January 2023, 29th of January 2023, 30th and 31st January 2023. The display of recorded responses and answer key will be announced later on the website and the declaration of the result on the Bentia website will be updated later. JMN 2023 will be conducted in 13 languages including English, Hindi, Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu and Urdu. The session 2 of JMN will be held in the month of April in 2023 for session 2 JMN April 2023, the online submission of application form will start from 7th of February 2023 and will continue till 7th of March 2023 up to 9 p.m. The last date for successful transaction of prescribed application fee for JMN April 2023 session 2 will remain on 7th March 2023 till 11.50 p.m. Third week of March 2023, we will get to know the city of examination for J Main session 2 April 2023 and for the same, the downloading of admit cards from the NTA website for session 2 J Main will start from the last week of March 2023. The dates of examination for session 2 J Main has been on 6th of April 2023, 7th of April 2023 
8th of April 2023, 9th of April 2023, 10th of April 2023, 11th and 12th of April 2023. The display of question paper attempted by the candidate and answer key for inviting challenges will be displayed on the NTA website and the declaration of the result will be displayed on the NTA website and the dates will be updated later on. For appearing in the JEMEN 2023, there is no age limit for the candidates. The candidates who have passed the class 12 or equivalent examination in 2021 or 2022 or appearing in 2023 irrespective of their age can appear in JEMEN 2023 examination. However, the candidates may be required to fulfill the age criteria of the institutes to which they are desirous of taking admission. Now talking about the year of appearance in qualifying examination, only those candidates who have passed the class 12 or equivalent examination in 2021 or 2022 or those who are appearing in class 12 or equivalent examination in 2023 are eligible to appear in J Main 2023. Candidates who have passed the 10 plus 2 examination in 2020 or before as well as those who will appear in such examination in 2024 or later are not eligible to appear in J Main 2023. The state code of eligibility means the code of the state from where the candidate has completed his 10 plus 2 or equivalent qualifying examination by virtue of which the candidate becomes eligible to appear in J. Main 2023. It is important to note that the state code of eligibility does not depend upon the native place or the place of residence of the candidate. Now we will talk about the total time duration for paper 1 for J. Main 2023 for B or BTEC course, the examination duration will be of 3 hours. Whereas for paper 2A for the course Bachelor of Architecture, the duration will be 3 hours as well. For JMN 2023 paper 2B, the total test duration will be of 3 hours. But if you want to appear in paper 2A for BARC and paper 2B, B planning both, in that case, the total time duration will be 3 hours 30 minutes. Now, let us look into the pattern of examination for paper 1, which will be for B or BTEC course. It will be in computer based test mode and in mathematics there will be 20 questions in section A and in section B there will be 10 questions and total marks allotted for mathematics will be 100. In physics there will be 20 questions in section A and 10 questions in section B and the total marks allotted in physics will be 100. In chemistry there will be 20 questions in section A and 10 questions in section B. Total marks allotted in chemistry will be 100. So in paper 1 for B, B take the total number of questions including section A and section B will be 90 and the total marks will be 300. Now in section A there will be multiple choice questions and section B will contain contain questions whose answers are to be filled as in, in a numerical value. In section B, candidates have to attempt any 5 questions out of 10. There will be negative marking for both section A and section B. For each question in section B, the candidate has to enter the correct integer value of the answer using the mouse and on the screen virtual numeric keypad in the place designated to enter the answer. For section B, the answer should be rounded off to the nearest integer. Now talking about the pattern of questions in paper 2A for BR course, there will be part 1 which will contain questions from mathematics and there will be 20 questions under section A MCQ and 10 questions for section B where the answers to be filled as a numerical value and in mathematics in the part 1 section there will be total marks allotted 100. 
part 2 will have aptitude test questions and there will be 50 number of questions and the total allotted marks for part 2 will be 200 and in part 3 the drawing test section there will be two questions and the total marks allotted will be 100 so as we can find out that for paper 2a b arc j main 2023 the total number of questions will be 82 and the total marks will be 400 now we will talk about the paper 2b for b planning now this question paper will also have three parts part one will be mathematics where there will be 20 questions in section a in the mcq section and 10 questions in the section b where you have to fill the answer as a numerical value and in this section part one there will be total of 100 marks in part two aptitude test there will be 50 number of questions and the total marks allotted will be 200 in the part three planning section there will be 25 number of question and the total marks allotted will be 100 so there will be total 105 questions and the total marks allotted here will be 400 for j main 2023 paper 2b B planning now if we look into the marking scheme for J main 2023 the correct answer for the most appropriate answer will fetch you four marks that's plus four and for the incorrect answer there will be minus one mark so if for unanswered questions or for those questions marked for review there will be no marks or zero will be added to your score now let us look at the fee payable for j main 2023 for each session now this fees is to be paid through credit card or debit card or net banking or upi now for paper one b or b tech or paper 2a b arc or paper 2b b planning for general category general ews and obc ncl students for male candidates the application fees will be 1000 rupees whereas for the female candidates the application charge will be 800 rupees for paper 1b b tech for paper 2a b arc or paper 2b b planning j main 2023 for sc or st or pwd category students for the male students the application fee will be 500 and for the female students also the application fee will be 500 and for the candidates belonging to third gender the application fee will be 500 only now in case if you want to appear Paper 1 B B take and along with that paper 2A B R or paper 1 with paper 2 B B planning or paper 1 paper 2A and 2B together or paper 2A 2B together in combination and if you are a general or general EWS or OBC NCL male candidate then the application fee will be 2000 for female candidates the application fee will be 1600 for students belonging to SC, ST and PWD category, male students will pay an application fee for 1000 rupees and female candidates will also pay an application fee of 1000 rupees. And for the third gender candidates, there will be an application fee of 1000 rupees. However, the processing charges and GST are to be paid by the candidate as applicable. Now, let us discuss the steps uh, to apply online for JE Main 2023 Session 1. First, we have to register for the online application form and we have to note down the system generated application number. Uh, one should write his or her full name the same as printed on the certificate or mark sheet of class 10 or equivalent examination, otherwise, the form will be rejected. And the candidate should apply the required details while filling the online application form and is also required to create a password and choose security question and enter his or her answer after successful submission of the personal details an application number will be generated and it will be used to complete the remaining steps of the application form and will also be required for all future correspondence the application number will also be used or referred for both session of jmn 2023 for subsequent logins the candidate will be able to log in directly with the respective system generated application number and created password the candidate can log in with the system generated application number and pre-created password for completing the application form for j 
May 2023. It includes filling up of personal details, applying for the paper, choosing the examination cities, providing the details of educational qualifications and uploading the images and documents. The candidate needs to upload the scanned photograph, signature and category certificate as well. Now, it should be mentioned that the recent photograph should be without mask. It can be either in color or or black and white with 80% face visible including ears against a white background. The scanned photograph and signature should be in JPG or JPEG format. The size of the scanned photograph should be between 10 KB to 200 KB. The size of the scanned signature should be between 4 KB to 30 KB. The size of the scanned copy of the category certificate that is SCST, OBC or EWS should be in PDF and the size should be 50 KB to 300 KB. In step 3, the candidate needs to pay the requisite examination fee as I have already discussed. The fee can be submitted only online through net banking or credit card or debit card or UPI. Processing charges and GST will be applicable. After the payment, the confirmation page of the online application form will be generated and student need to download, save and print a copy of the confirmation page of the application form for future reference so friends that was all about jmen 2023 you have to be really careful while filling up the application form because jmen 2023 authority will not give you any chance to edit the further info registered at the first step and if you want to know more about jmen 2023 uh, josa counseling process csap counseling process you must like and subscribe this Apna College Net YouTube channel. Follow us on our Facebook page and Instagram page. And for any queries on JMN 2023, please feel free to contact us on the phone number right now shown on the screen. All the best.